everyone, Ed here from Graveyard Excursions. On the night of December 19th, 2017, Marquise Bird and his fiance were driving southbound as I am along 75. It was in the evening and little did they know they were on their way to a, a Christmas party to celebrate their, their uh, and they were getting married and it was Christmas coming up, but little did they know that one of these bridges up ahead, uh, some 13 and 14 year old kids were playing a prank. And that prank would end up becoming murder. It was along this bridge here on Indiana Avenue that three boys, uh, three of them 14 and one 13 were on their way to get candy at 10 o'clock at night, to, which to me is weird because it was a Tuesday evening and they're all under the age of 18 and they're all out playing at 10 o'clock at night getting candy. So that already is strange. But they came across some bags of sand that they decided, well, hey, let's play a game and throw the bag of sand off the bridge and just as fate would have it that was when Marquise Bird was driving southbound along 75 on his way to meet up with friends in Toledo for a Christmas party the, the first bag that was tossed by one of the 14 year olds missed the car but unfortunately the second bag by the 13 year old made contact with the passenger side window and I'm going to put the clip of the 911 call of uh, Marquise's fiance calling saying that he's unresponsive and he's not moving so the police were sent out route and I'm going to put that clip in right now 911, Police say the boys stood on this overpass and tossed a sandbag onto busy I-75 below. That projectile slamming through the windshield of a car, crashing down on 22-year-old passenger Marquise Bird. When the police arrived, they were here pretty quick. Marquise was still alive, and um, after they treated him and got him sent to EMS, they were able to see the boys still on the bridge and they followed them and they were uh, they were not arrested but they were asked to uh, come in the next day because they're underage you're not allowed to arrest arrest uh, minors but they willingly came into the police station the next day and they were all basically brought up on charges of murder but again they were underage and as it would have, they would all be sentenced to um, be serve time at uh, Lucas County Juvenile Center for about eight months. And uh, to me, you know, these kids did not have a clue what they were doing. Uh, they were young. They are, but I put the, the blame solely on the parents for allowing their kids to be out that late and getting into, it's a school night. It was a Tuesday night. What are the kids out doing that late, playing on, on the freeway, getting candy? To me, that that's silly. Well, what, it's, it, and the person that, that pays the most is all the families involved, especially the family of the victim. This guy was on his way. He had a, 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 a one-year-old child that needed him. His wife, this guy, Marquise Bird was a, a really good guy. He was a family man. He lit up the room when he came in. He always had a smile on his face. He had so much. He was only 22 years old. He, he had his whole life ahead of him. And the tragedy is it doesn't end here. Because after these kids did their time, one of the, the kids that actually threw the sandbag off the bridge... Well, let's. Let, I don't think he was. 
he actually sent a letter to the mother of Marquise, not necessarily apologizing, but you could tell he really was having a hard time dealing with what had happened. And two years after this incident, this tragedy, he went with friends to Centennial Quarry to do some swimming. And that's where we're going to pick it up next, if I could find this place. Okay, now I'm at Centennial Quarry. And to make the story even sadder, we've already lost Marquise Bird due to that horrific incident on the freeway when those kids tossed those sandbags. Well, the, 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 the three 14-year-olds, they were pretty much... You know, the ones that got it going, and the 13-year-old, Pedro Salinas, he was the one that actually threw the bag that made impact with the car, as I mentioned before. And he was having a hard time dealing with it. And as I mentioned before, he also sent a letter to the mother of Marquise and because he, he was really wanting to touch base. But two years after that, he was swimming here. And... Um, he dove into the water from that platform, I believe, right over there. And he never, and he did not come back out. Uh, EMS was brought in. They got him out of the water. And he died on the way to the hospital of cardiac arrest. I have no idea the whole details of how he died. But to me... That's a tragedy all in itself. When a young person like that, you got to figure the weight of what happened to him back with the, the incident on the freeway took a toll on this young man. This, this, he was only 15 when this happened. And you just wonder what was going through his mind when he jumped into that water. So a, a, a horrible situation even becomes worse with another young life lost. So... When you send your kids out and they don't tell you where they're going, you got to find out where they're going. I'm not a parent, but if I had a kid, I'd want to know what they were doing at all times. Try to keep them away from playing on overpasses because, you know, dropping rocks off an overpass is a deadly game and no one wins. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe to Graveyard Excursions. I do not know where... Marquise Bird has been buried, and I have no information about Pedro Salinas either. Um, but if you guys know where they have been buried, if they were buried anywhere, please put it in the comments. Please keep your comments respectful. And, yeah, just try to keep the... These are people's lives over here. And I just want to pay tribute to the people that... To the families. And it, it, it's a, a, a brutal situation. And so many lives have been affected by this. So, again, just let's try to remember, remember the good in these people and not focus on the bad. That way it'll help us move on. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Stay safe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.